A number of people with roots in Haiti live here in the Rochester area. Many have no idea how their loved ones are doing because they simply can't seem to reach them. YNN Seth Voorhees has more local reaction to the quake. It's a tough day right now. It's a dark moment. It, I think it's one of the darkest moments we've ever faced. Nirlanda Anselm left her homeland of Haiti 25 years ago. Her heart and her mind are there now. We have lots of family members still back home. Um, lots of friends still back home. We, and we are very frantic right now because we can't get in touch with them. And Selm was born in the countryside but lived in Port-au-Prince before coming to America. The administrator in the Gates Shilai schools had tried to get in touch with loved ones back home to no avail. So you don't know if your family's made it out, if they're alive, if they're sleeping on the streets. You just don't know. This kind of devastation is, is, is terrible for, for the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. Rochester City School Superintendent Jean-Claude Brazard was born an hour north of Port-au-Prince. He says poverty is just one issue which will impact his homeland's ability to respond to the quake. The fact is that this kind of disaster, I doubt anyone was prepared for in Haiti. So listening to that, I'm saying basically, oh my God, what else can happen down there? It's a sad time, uh, really, to say it. And, and of course, it's horrific. Jim Meyer's interest in the Haitian earthquake is twofold. The RIT professor is concerned for students who haven't been able to reach family. As a board member of Project Hope, he travels to Haiti often. He worries about friends and colleagues at the health care system the charity runs in northern Haiti. He was scheduled to travel there next week. Uh, the parallel is war. You know, the, the parallel is this level of devastation that you see after a war. Meyer says right now he wishes he was in Haiti so he could help out those who need it. It's a familiar feeling for those with ties to the country. We need to step up, and when people see that we're stepping up as Haitians, um, hopefully they will step up as well. Nirlanda Anselm doesn't think this country or the world fully comprehends the quake's impact. It's hard to imagine at this point anyone could. It's only so much that people can take. And you just wonder whether this will just wipe out our nation. And that's, that's one of my worries. Seth Voorhees, YNN.